Loaded Radio. Hey, I'm Scott Penfold from Loaded Radio, and here's your Loaded Radio recap for Wednesday, November 24th, 2021. Don't forget, if you like this video, to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. And as always, check out LoadedRadio.com for all your hard rock and metal news, the 24-hour stream, our podcasts, and so much more. But here's what's happening in hard rock and metal. It looks like Deftones have now evolved into the budding cannabis industry with the launch of their own Deftones Cannabis Collection. Now, Deftones Cannabis is available now in select California dispensaries with plans to eventually expand. You can also find a list of the current dispensaries with the Deftones Cannabis Collection in stock on Deftones' official Instagram. Also, this past summer's The Metal Tour of the Year, which featured Megadeth, Lamb of God, Trivium, and Hatebreed, sold 171,365 tickets at over 24 concerts between August 20th and September 28th. Now, pulling in an average of more than 7,000 tickets per night, the tour managed to gross almost 8 million, and this is all according to Polestar. Now, the Metal Tour of the Year marked Megadeth's first run of shows in North America since 2017, and also marked Megadeth's first tour with bassist James Lomenzo in nearly 12 years. Congratulations going out to Kill Switch and Gage, who have received a platinum certification for their 2006 studio album, As Daylight Dies. Now, as of November 23rd, 2021, the album has sold in excess of a million copies. The album previously received a gold certification back in June of 2009. Now, just to clarify, the Recording Industry Association of America awards a gold honor for 500,000 units sold, and the platinum certification goes for 1 million units sold. And finally, it appears that Ozzy Osbourne has once again postponed his European run of tour dates with Judas Priest. Now, originally set to kick off in 2019, the trek has been pushed back again due to uncertain restrictions and protocols in place relating to COVID-19. All tickets remain valid and will be honored for new dates in May and June of 2023. Ozzy Osbourne says, due to the ongoing uncertainty with full capacity events and travel logistics in much of Europe, we have come to the difficult decision to postpone my 2022 tour to 2023. You can find a full list of show dates at LoadedRadio.com. There's your Loaded Radio recap for Wednesday, November 24th, 2021. I'm Scott Penfold for Loaded Radio. 